As you see, when I take out the coil packs, they're filled with oil. So I'm gonna be changing the valve cover gasket on this car and replacing it. I know I'm pretty sure this has a timing chain cover gasket problem as well, but that's gonna be for another day. Today, I'm just gonna replace this and replace the spark plugs, give this car a decent tune up. So let's find out how to take this thing apart should just be a couple 10 millimeter screws around here and a couple hoses and everything like that so but should be simple we're gonna give this car a decent tune up and hopefully make it run a little better All right, so I just got the valve cover off. Um, I actually came off relatively easy. I wish, like, I don't know what that wire is dangling down there, but that kind of makes this a hassle with this piece of plastic for the coil packs. But I got it off. I don't know, looking, there is some like RTV on here. I don't know if if you're supposed to put that on these valve cover gaskets or not. I was not known of doing that, but I'll read through and double check. But the inside engine, it doesn't look terrible. I mean, all the cam lobes and everything look pretty good. Um, but you can definitely tell this doesn't get frequent oil changes, so. But definitely gonna have to get the spark plugs out as well as change the gasket and I got a new one right here so hopefully everything is correct and we will be good to go so but I'm gonna clean some things up do a little research on if I need to put RTV on any little corners or anything like that and then we'll slap this back on and change out the spark plugs as well as we're gonna do a nice oil change and something else too that I want to do is change the lift bolts while I have this off. So I ended up ordering a set from Monkey Run Tracing. They're fairly cheap. I think they're only a few dollars. You pay more in shipping than you do in the actual bolts. So, and I'm pretty sure there are these two bolts right here. I need to look at a diagram again just to make sure. But I think that's what those are. And we'll also take them out. Hopefully not break them and swap them in with some new ones. Let's try to break these loose. All right, so broke loose pretty easily. Let's make sure nothing is broken. All right, it's actually still intact but definitely you can see that thing is worn out. So, so that was the intake side. The exhaust side. So yeah, you can definitely see the intake was definitely wearing out way more. Let me show you guys what they look like before. All right, so here's the before ones. And then you can see, I mean, you can actually feel a little lip forming here. The intake one is 
actually way worse. Like you can actually see it gouged into that pretty good. So good thing that I'm replacing these. But definitely, I mean, I know this car has 127,000 miles roughly, but I don't know when the odometer stopped working. So this thing could have a half a million miles or it could have 128,000 miles, I don't know. But we'll replace these, put these new ones in there, and then we'll move on to the valve cover. Gonna clean this up a little bit, take these out. I don't know if this has been changed or not. I don't know if this blue is factory. Um, like this gasket almost looks fairly new, the one on the outside, but I don't know if these other ones all right, so my battery ended up dying when I was just cleaning everything up, but I cleaned all the surface off. I put a little dab of RTV in those two spots because there's two little joint pockets there that there might be a concern that it might leak. So I just put a little RTV there and then I got the new spark plug gasket as well as the other gasket that goes around the valve cover. So now it's time to Put this on here it's a little awkward because you have to hold this up and slide it under I got the valve cover changed, got the valve cover looking clean too. I cleaned it up, um, but now I meant to change the spark plugs while I had everything out, but I don't. So I'm gonna get the spark plugs out. Hopefully they're 14 mil and replace them with some, I don't know where I put them, but replace them and put all this back together. Then that way we can drain the oil, clean it, and then we'll be good to go. The old spark plugs out they were soaked in oil um, I tried to clean out as much oil as I could in these but I can only do as best as I can um, but yeah you can see the old spark plug really looks fouled up tip kind of looks messed up um, and then the new one I don't know if you guys can see but it's a nice NGK iridium these other ones were auto lights so good to get rid of these things anyways so i'm going to put all new spark plugs in here and then we'll change the oil all right so got the whole top of the engine cleaned up buttoned up i think it looks like 90 percent there i don't know like the aluminum has a lot of like oxidization or something from, I guess, dirt or whatever. I don't know what would be the best way to try to get rid of that, but all in all, it cleaned up so much better than what it was. So now it's time to drain the oil, change the filter, and we'll be ready to take this thing on a little test drive.
Alright you guys, so I already buttoned up everything up and went on a test drive. Everything on this car running pretty good. When I was driving, I did get a check engine light for an O2 sensor. I do need to look into that, um, but not a big deal. It's not like causing any issues. My biggest concern was before, um, I was having problems hitting lift every now and then. And I think it was just really crappy oil in there. So having nice new oil in there is going to be a plus. It hits lift perfectly fine. No problems. So, and it also seems to run a lot smoother. So, which is actually pretty good. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.